Charles Portis's True Grit is a distinctive work in American literature, blending elements of the Western genre with a deeply personal and compelling narrative voice. The novel is told from the perspective of Maddie Ross, a young girl who sets out to avenge her father's murder. This first-person narration is crucial to the novel's tone and thematic depth, providing an intimate glimpse into Maddie's determination and worldview. At the heart of True Grit is Maddie's unyielding resolve. After her father is killed by Tom Cheney, Maddie, who is only 14, decides to take justice into her own hands. Her quest for vengeance is driven by a mix of personal grief and a strict moral code, making her an unusually complex and engaging protagonist. Portis's portrayal of Maddie is both nuanced and vivid, capturing her youthful ambition and steely resolve with a blend of humor and gravity. The novel's setting, post-Civil War Arkansas, is meticulously rendered, reflecting the harsh realities of frontier life. Portis uses this setting not just as a backdrop but as an integral part of the story, shaping the characters' actions and the plot's progression. The rugged terrain and lawlessness of the time serve to highlight Maddie's courage and the obstacles she faces. This environment underscores the themes of justice and retribution, as well as the moral ambiguity that characterizes much of the novel. The character of Rooster Cogburn, a U.S. Marshal with a reputation for brutality, contrasts sharply with Maddie's idealism. His rough exterior and flawed nature add depth to the narrative, providing a counterbalance to Maddie's rigid sense of justice. Their interactions are central to the novel's exploration of morality and law. While Cogburn is initially portrayed as a flawed hero, his complex relationship with Maddie gradually reveals his own struggles with personal and professional ethics. This dynamic adds a layer of complexity to the novel's moral landscape. The dialogue in True Grit is particularly notable for its authenticity and richness. Portis captures the vernacular of the time with precision, using it to reveal character and advance the plot. The dialogue not only enhances the realism of the setting but also provides insight into the characters' personalities and motivations. Through Maddie's sharp, observant voice and the colorful speech of other characters, Portis creates a vivid and immersive world. Maddie's narration is marked by a blend of youthful determination and reflective wisdom, which gives the story its distinctive voice. Her perspective is both candid and introspective, allowing readers to connect deeply with her personal journey. The narrative's straightforward style is imbued with a dry wit that underscores Maddie's resilience and resourcefulness. The themes of justice and retribution are central to the novel's plot. Maddie's quest for vengeance drives much of the action, but the novel also examines the broader implications of justice in a lawless society. The moral dilemmas faced by the characters reflect the novel's exploration of right and wrong, and the consequences of seeking personal retribution. Portis does not offer easy answers but instead presents a nuanced view of justice, emphasizing the personal and ethical costs of such pursuits. Portis's use of humor, particularly through Maddie's observations and interactions with Cogburn, adds a layer of complexity to the story. The humor often serves to highlight the absurdities of the characters' situations and the harsh realities of their world. This interplay between humor and seriousness enriches the narrative, providing both levity and depth. In conclusion, True Grit is a rich and multifaceted novel that combines a gripping story with a deep exploration of character and morality. Portis's skillful use of first-person narration, authentic dialogue, and vivid setting creates a compelling and immersive reading experience. The novel's examination of justice, retribution, and the complexities of human nature makes it a significant and enduring work in American literature.